is the head of my life, and I praise him for my blessed bishop and to the awesome Bishop Chandler Owens and all these other great bishops. I'm glad uh, to be among this great aggregation of saints, and I'm glad most of all that I'm saved today and that the Lord filled me with the Holy Ghost one day. It is the greatest testament that I could give of my mother is that she lived a life before me to make me desire to live for the Lord. She didn't point in one direction and go into another. But my mother lived it. No, she didn't quote scriptures every five minutes at home, but she did not have a perverse mouth, and she respected her husband, and she talked to, talked to us about God, and, and, and she did things that let us know that God was the most important thing in her life. And she lived it in a way that we could follow and that we could, uh, uh, that we could go ahead and live it because she lived it before us. She showed us how it was done. And uh, that was something really great about my mom. And I didn't really call her mom. I have to admit, I was still calling her mommy. And I want to say today, mommy, I wish you could see me in this hat. <laughs> you know, I, um, after my mom passed and we prayed, and I, I tell you, if prayer could have kept her here, she'd still be here. Uh, I um, and my brothers and sisters spent a lot of time uh, at the hospital in these last weeks, and it has been very intense. I tell you, saints, uh, if you have a mama like I had, you won't, didn't, wouldn't want to let her go. If you heard that there was a way to save her and to keep her here, you would have prayed like we prayed. And we were there, and, uh, and we, we just prayed. And, and uh, on the last day, for some reason, I didn't go to the hospital that day. I just stayed at church all day. And I just laid down in front of her chair at church, and, and I just begged and pleaded with God for my mother's life. I told God, I said, you know, you're going to have her for eternity. Eternity is forever. And we just asked for a few more years down here, and it seemed like I sort of fell asleep laying down there. You know how we do. We go into a shut-in for a while, and it wasn't too long after that, somebody was knocking on the door of the church telling me to rush on down to the hospital, and mom was, was gone, and I uh, went home, and we all went home after a while. We went on home and to, to her house. And that was the place, um, that's why, don't, don't be too mad at us that we didn't have a lot of people over because that was the one place she was mommy. That was the one place that everything else got shut out. And we were just her children, and she cooked for us, and, and, and she was herself. And that was the one place that I just looked like I didn't want to share her. We shared her. Uh, with her work all these years and looked like I didn't want to share her for a little while and just walk around and cry if I had to. And I went into uh, their room. Dad had been looking for stuff to get her ready for Memphis and doing everything she asked him to do. And so he had her clothes everywhere, you know. <laughs> he had her clothes everywhere. And I said, let me make it habitable so he can come in here and rest. And uh, I it seemed like the Lord told me to just move all the things out of the way that showed that she had been in pain or showed that she couldn't eat and the things that showed that she had been a struggle. And, and I cried a little and started putting that stuff up. But then I started going through her jewelry box and I didn't hear her saying, you know, put that down and put that back. <laughs> Don't touch that one. Oh, mommy. <laughs> oh, mommy. And I looked at her stuff, you know, and then I got to the hat closet. And I said, let me find one that'll fit my head. And I began to try on those hats. That's something I never did. And go through those hats. And I found me one. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I love you. I just want to leave you with this one little chance. Some folk would rather have houses and land. Some folk choose silver and gold. But these things they treasure and forget about their souls. But I decided to make Jesus my choice. 
I did too, Mom. I love you. God bless you.